Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? No zoop for you here, and man, it's been what a month maybe since I've released a new video, something like that. I don't know. It's been a long time, a very long time, uh, long enough that even I started noticing. Uh, maybe you all haven't. That's fine. I get it. But you know, the, I'll be honest. Um, sometimes it doesn't take long to make these videos. It really doesn't. It, it's at a point where I've done it so much so often that I can churn one out in, you know, 15, 20 minutes. But but even that, for some reason, as of late, it, it's just like, I'll get ready to record a video, and then I'm just like, ah, no, I just, I'm not feeling it. And it, it's got nothing to do with the um, enjoyment I have with the game. I mean, I'm, I'm still having a lot of fun in it. I really am. Um... I enjoy when I play with my uh, division mates every Wednesday or Thursday, and we have a great time. I, I'm enjoying some of the new ships coming out, too. It, it's just, I think what it comes down to is that at this point in my life, um, being 42 now, I, I just had a birthday, I'm 42, um, videos and YouTube and all of that, it's just not a priority, especially with three-year-old twins who are very, very active now. I just got done coaching T-ball with them, which was an absolute Charlie Foxtrot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love them to death, but three is just too young for T-ball. But we tried it. We, we tried it. I wanted them to try it. I wanted them to um, see what it's like being on a team and playing an organized sport. And, you know, I, I'm sure they got something out of it. They went kicking and screaming sometimes, and at their age, they just go running across the field doing whatever. Uh, my son thinks after you hit the ball, you get it yourself and carry it back, which is not the case. And it, it made for some tears and funny moments, but, you know, it, being, a, being a father is just not conducive to being a content creator, especially when you've got basically two full-time jobs. Uh, you know, the reserves are kind of a secondary job uh, to my primary job, but... You know, it, it, what it comes down to is I've got a lot going on. You know, life is busy, and it's good. You know, I, I, I really enjoy where I'm at right now. And, you know, there's other games, too, I've been playing. Uh, Jedi Survivor as of late, which I'm finding a lot of enjoyment in. And, you know, I still play Warzone on the weekends with my other group of uh, squad mates. So there's a lot out there to keep me occupied when I'm not raising my children. And... As I said, this this just kind of loosely figures into everything. It's, it's still very much a hobby. But I do miss it, though. And, you know, that's probably why I sat down and took the time to make this video. Because I miss connecting with you all. Especially those of you that have been following me for a very, very long time. Um, you know, we're, we're a tight-knit group of like-minded individuals. And if we're not like-minded, we at least respect each other and each other's opinions on the game and all other matters. And, you know, that's that's important to me. I, I think we've built a great community, and I don't want to see it just absolutely collapse. Which, again, is why I'm creating this video right now, and why I think, moving forward, I'm going to make a more concerted effort to put out some videos. You know, maybe not as frequently as I used to. Uh, maybe what I did in the early days, once a week, twice a week. Uh, but, but things that I can just use to keep in touch with you all. And, you know, there's still a lot of new ships out there, too, that need to be... Re well, they've probably already been reviewed by some of the more full-time content creators, which is fine. And maybe these, these new ships that I haven't reviewed, I'm not going to do a deep, deep dive like I used to. Maybe just more of a loose... Yeah, I like this ship. It's fun. It plays like this without going into the stats. Just to give you a quick snapshot, a quick idea of what fun can be made uh, with them. Or or maybe, you know, instead of that, I'll just do some shorts. Some YouTube shorts. Just real quick. One or two minute videos about the ship. And whether it's recommended you get it or not. Because there's a lot of ships out there that I would not recommend you buy. And at this point in the life cycle of the game, um, as far as these new ships, my main focus is helping you all to avoid spending money and resources on ships you shouldn't. Because, let, let's face it, money's important, and wasting money is not fun. So, m maybe that's another route that will go with this. 
So, yeah, it's, it's, it's been busy lately, but it's been a lot of fun. So uh, life is good right now, and this, this video is kind of a, not welcome back, but more of a, I'm still here, I'm still thinking about you all, and I'm still, still thinking about creating content, and I am going to still create content. Maybe just not as much as I used to because of everything going on. But, again, I, I don't want to lose you all as a community because you all are great. Love you all very much. You know, especially those of you that have been around for a long, long time. And, again, um, you know, if if a ship tickles my fancy, maybe I'll review it. Um, you know, I've, I've still got Tromp that I want to review. Absolutely love that destroyer. Having a lot of fun in it. And, you know, I'll, I'll still post my... Uh, replays from my streams, which you know, <laughs> had a had an amazing uh, kamikaze battle uh, this past stream. Um, <laughs> it's always the kamikaze, isn't it? Uh, me and uh, Night Rock Greg, we both took kamikazes out, and we absolutely turned the round around that we were losing significantly, and came back to win it in the final minute of the round. Uh, <laughs> he got a crack, and I only got four. Uh, I say only. Uh, so we almost had dual Krakens. Um, so between our division, we took out 10 out of 12 of the uh, enemy ships. So just just kind of highlights how we did. That was a fun round. So I'll probably post that one up here this week. Um, and you can you can glean what you will from it. Um, watch how I play the Kamikaze. Uh, and just, just a great round. Uh, so there, there's stuff that I can cover still. Um, may, maybe not the uh, stuff I used to, you know, the uh, how-to type videos, because I, I, I'm pretty sure at this point, just uh, everything's been done. I mean, between all the content creators out there, uh, you know, there, we, we don't need another torpedo guide. We don't need another aircraft carrier guide. We don't, we don't need a how-to-aim guide, because it can all be found out there. If you go back for, far enough or, you know, use that wonderful Google search... So I, I don't really want to spend time repeating myself and that type of stuff just because there's not a need. I mean, all, all the strategy and everything else, it's been done into the dirt. And I, I think a lot of other content creators are finding that as well. So there's just no point doing any of that. But this type of stuff where I just reach out with you all, talk about the goings-ons and, uh, you know, the more casual type stuff, definitely room for that. Uh, and again, like I said, just those really casual ship reviews where I tell you in layman's term, if a ship sucks or if a ship's good, I uh, can definitely do those. And of course, replays as well, because every now and then again, I do have a decent round. <laughs> my, my division has a decent round. I, we had a couple last night that were just an absolute blast. And I, th I think there there's room for those because... A, the banter sometimes is really fun and engaging. But again, um, you, you can learn things by watching other players and how they play, uh, especially divisions, uh, especially how divisions communicate and everything else. So definitely something worth listening to and watching, especially if it's entertaining and a good battle. So, But yes, I'm still around. I'm, I'm still here. Just life happens, and you know I'm, I'm not upset about that because I've been having a great time. Uh, great life with my family, so I, I hope you all are doing great as well. As summer hits, I, I hope you all have been busy, have lots of things to do. I, I know it's that time of year where kids are home from school, and we all get busy. So just, just remember, Warships is just that. It's just a game. It's not real life. Never has been real life, and I've, I've never understood why so many people take this game so... I guess. Well, I, I do get it. You know, the gaming community is very much a strange community in some ways. And you've always got tryhards that don't understand that, you know, having a 30 to 1 kill death ratio in a first person shooter like Call of Duty or Battlefield isn't going to translate to anything in real life. But they, they still don't care because maybe they don't have stuff in real life to be happy about. So, you know, maybe. Uh, Noob Slayer 69 uh, needs that kill death ratio to fill a giant hole in his real life. Who knows? But it's a game. It's just a game. Anyhow, I hope you all are doing wonderful. Truly. 
I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.